We must raise the debt ceiling now and force the rich to pay their fair share or else we will face financial Armageddon. Why must we raise the debt ceiling now? What Armageddon are you referring to specifically? If the Republicans do not agree to allow the government to borrow another two trillion dollars then the senior citizens will not get their social security checks. Are you saying that the government does not have enough money to continue paying senior citizens their social security checks? Do you mean that there is no money left in the social security trust fund? The wise and truthful Obama said this today. He said that he cannot guarantee that senior citizens will receive their social security checks if the evil Republicans do not raise the debt ceiling. How can this be true? I have personally been paying into the Social Security Trust Fund since I was a teenager. Is the truthful and frugal Obama saying that there is no money in the Social Security Trust Fund? Well, ah, uh, yes. You see the Congresses from the last 40 years spent the money in the Social Security Trust Fund and replaced the money with I owe yours. Technically, there is no money in the Social Security Trust Fund. Are you saying that our government needs to borrow another two trillion dollars just to pay the bills it has right now? Of course not. I am saying that the government needs to borrow another two trillion dollars to pay the bills through November 2012. Why is the government demanding more borrowing to keep the nation able to pay its bills through November 2012? Because that date is the next election cycle. Could we back up a few steps and discuss the larger financial picture that faces the United States right now? Okay, let's do that. Where would you like to begin? Okay, let's begin with the simple notion of income and expenses. The federal government has income which it collects in taxes from the citizens. The federal government also has expenses which it pays out. Right now the government is spending about two trillion dollars per year more than it takes in from taxes. Spending more money than you have coming in is called deficit spending. Okay I understand what you mean when you say deficit spending. That is the money the government overspends in a single year. What about the national debt? What is that? The national debt is what all of the previous office holders have overspent and is still owed to our creditors. The national debt is currently $14 trillion and is owed with interest. By raising the debt limit by $2 trillion more, dollars, the national debt will become $16 trillion. Why is the national debt something to worry about? Can't we just keep raising it? Unfortunately. The money that is borrowed by our government must be paid back with interest to the people who loaned it to us. Just like your credit card. You borrow money. You pay the money back with interest on top of it. If you have a credit card which you have maxed out, you cannot keep calling the credit card company and insist they raise your limit. Why not? Why can't I just call my credit card company and have them keep raising my credit limit? You can't do that because at some point the interest expense you are paying, that is to say your minimum payment becomes more than you can handle. Your minimum payment on the interest expense becomes greater than the total amount of income you earn. Is that the financial position that our government is in right now? Is the interest portion of the national debt more than the amount of taxes that the government takes in already? Not quite yet. But we are getting extremely close. Unfortunately, we are right now at the point where we cannot pay the interest on the debt and all of the other expenses government chooses to pay without borrowing more money. What does that mean specifically? It means that we have reached the tipping point in our financial situation. We are here now. Our politicians are spending much more money than they take in through taxes. We are faced with only two choices. Cut spending or cut spending. Wait a minute. Why can't we make the rich pay more in taxes? Won't that solve the problem? Unfortunately, the rich do not even have enough money to fix this simple math problem. You could steal all of the money of the rich in the United States and it would not solve the problem. What do you suggest we do? Have our government declare a 10% cut in all federal budgets and entitlement programs. Tell Medicare and Medicaid recipients that we are in an emergency. Withdraw all military troops from around the world and bring them home to protect our borders. 
Eliminate the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Energy, the Department of Education. These ideas are just for starters. There actually is no solution. We are so far in the hole financially that we may never recover. By borrowing more money we are just kicking the can down the road for a little while. By borrowing more money we are ensuring that we will never get ourselves out of this financial crisis. Can't we just have the Ben Bernanke print more money? If the United States were the only country left on the planet, that strategy would work for a little while longer. The problem is that we are now in a global economy. Other countries around the world can print money like we can. Other countries around the world have higher interest rates for borrowing or lending money. I know this is getting too complicated for Lady Gaga lovers, but imagine you are rich and have $100 million to invest. Do you invest it in America and earn 1% interest? Or do you invest it in China and earn 6% interest? People who have money will naturally invest the money where they can earn more interest. When the Ben Bernanke artificially keeps interest rates at near zero in the United States, people who have money to invest will invest it outside the United States. In other words, simply printing more money does not fix our debt problem. Can't we just keep borrowing more money? Unfortunately, that is exactly what our politicians are trying to do. At some point the world will realize that we can never repay what we have borrowed. This event is called a collapse of the currency. When this event occurs our money will be worth less and our nation will face violent chaos. There will be no social safety net. No more social security, no more Medicare, no more unemployment checks. The new currency of the United States will be shotgun shells, bottled water, and canned peaches. I am frightened. Don't worry. They're there dear. I will pat your hand and tell you it is all right.